Melissa Hartman, but you can also call me hashtag Boss Mish. Guys, I'm coming to you live to give out one of my favorite recipes, and it's so simple, and I'm so excited to share it with you. So if you are tuning in live, do me a favor and drop me the number one below, and if you are checking out this replay, drop me the number two, and of course, if you're new to this broadcast, welcome. Thanks so much for being here. Drop me the word new in the comments, and feel free to let me know where you guys are coming in from tonight. So. This is my absolute favorite uh, burger recipe. It is bunless, so it's got like two grams of carbs, I think. We like to do onions, so it's got four. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Joy. Hey, Anna. So let's get right into this, okay? Now, I have in my bowl a pound of ground beef, okay? I'm not going to tell you what kind to get because you guys are smarter than that, right? Uh, if you're doing keto, do me a favor and tell me how long, write the word keto and tell me how long you've been doing keto. We're gonna have my little miss come over here and actually help with this recipe. So all you need for this is a pound of ground beef, you need Worcestershire, and then you need salt, pepper, some bacon grease or olive oil, and Montreal steak seasoning by Grill, McCormick Grillmates, okay? So um, let's go ahead, Annabelle, you wanna come over here? Say hi to everybody. Come on, Nova. Come on, come on. You gotta come over here so they can see you. Everyone hi. say hi to Annabelle. It's two L's, by the way. All right, are you ready to put this stuff in? Yes. So we need a tablespoon of that, which that's about a tablespoon that's so left like in there. Just is. dump it right on there. You guys know my proper terminology. Just go ahead and dump it. Marvelous job, my love. All right, now we need a tablespoon of Worcestershire. So if you wanna hold this, I will um, put the Worcestershire in and then we're gonna dump it. Dumping it and dumping it. We have our onions on the stove. Okay. Oh, can you hold it steady? <laughs> All right, go ahead and dump that in, honey. She's doing it very precise. If you guys like a nice precise recipe, drop me a four in the comments below. Thank you, honey. All right, thank you for your help. Can we all give her like a hand clap for helping? All right, now just do some salt and pepper in here. So salt and pepper here. I missed everyone's comments before. So I'm sorry if you were commenting and I didn't respond to you. Uh, but if you have questions, feel free to post them in the comments below. If you know you need a good burger recipe, Feel free to share this video, comment the word shared, and I will give you a full name shout out while we are on this broadcast. I am currently just adding some salt, pink Himalayan, of course, this is my life, and some pepper. And then um, it says, uh, it says salt and pepper to, to your liking, okay? And then this is two tablespoons of baking grease. Um, I love bacon and I actually, um, I make bacon every single week usually, so we just have it on hand, so it's going to be a yummy bacon cheeseburger later on. Um, however, I save the, I save the bacon grease because it's super good to cook with, so it looks disgusting, but it's really good. You can shove it in your fridge and then use it. I just put two tablespoons into this and then melted it. So then we're just gonna pour this in here and mix it up. Um, I have about just over a pound of beef in here. So I'd say it's like 1.25 pounds. Uh, yes, the bacon grease literally is liquid gold. I will tell you though, my husband, the first time he made these, he's like, what did you put in those? Because the grill almost like, blew me up or something. I was, I forgot about the cook, okay? I forgot about the cook. So fair warning to you grill masters out there, you may need to be careful for your eyebrows. Mindy Mixon, thank you so much for sharing. Uh, you may need to watch those eyebrows because the bacon grease does sometimes like to flare up a little bit. Otherwise, you know, put these in your George Foreman grill or whatever. I'm not a grill person but my honey is and the recipe is in the K 
caption. So feel free, right underneath my hashtags, feel free to use this one and let me know what you guys think. The recipe on here says, um, I think it said it was two, two grams of net carbs. So I think it's like four with onions. So it is delicious, it is yummy, and all you need are a few simple ingredients. I have one of these really cool things too that, I don't know, they make my life easy. They make like the perfect patties because, I don't know, there's something about this. I just can never make a perfectly round meat patty. So these are nice. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. It doesn't really matter. You've made a burger before, right? But you just smush this down. It doesn't even have to be perfect. You all already know. So yeah, you just need a few simple ingredients and then you need a grill master. Um, I'm gonna start selling those very shortly here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I wish I could sell men on here. That'd be kind of fun. I mean, it could be a woman too. Whatever your, whichever way your taste may go, that's fine. If you need a, if you need a grill master, drop a flame below. I'd love, maybe we can start like a keto singles thing right on my chat here. This might be fun. It is the day after Valentine's Day. Most most single people can be a little bitter on Valentine's Day. So you never know. Today may be the day for love, folks. All over some delicious burgers. All right. This should make like four of them. Four of them for a pound, which is nice because these are really filling. And you top them with some mayo, whatever kind of mayo your heart desires. Um, you don't even need ketchup. And then some of these amazing caramelized onions that we got going on on the stove and some bacon. And guys, you are good to go. Carrie Olson, thank you for sharing. Laura Curtis, thank you so much for sharing. All right, so that's about all I got for you guys tonight. Super simple, delicious. This is actually one of my favorite meals. If you have certain recipes that you are like Melissa, you need to start doing some of these. Feel free to comment that below. I'm always looking for new ideas. Um, and tomorrow we're baking actually, I think. So I think, I don't know, we'll find out. Uh, so if you guys got some value, feel free to drop a 10. Feel free to share this video out to the world and make sure to follow me if you aren't already. Uh, <laughs> I'd. I'd give you all like a high five or something, but I have my hands full of meat. So I hope you all are having a fantastic night. My name is Melissa Hartman, but you can also call me hashtag boss Talk to you guys later. Bye.